What's up guys, I'm back once again to show you some of the hot mods of the week and in this week's episode we of course have a brand new weapon mod as well as a power armor from Fallout 76 but to kick things off stim packs are a resource that you'll use a lot of in Fallout 4 so there's a good chance that you're already bored of the vanilla animation and with the mod Russian stim pack replacer we're going to be changing that and this of course is what that's going to look like Now this mod is going to come in potentially one of 10 files, a standard 2k and 4k version, a patch for those of us using Agony, a blue case 2k and 4k, a green case 2k and 4k, a red case 2k and 4k, and finally a slowed down version for those of us that really want to see the animation in its full glory. So if you're bored of the standard stim pack animation and want something a bit more interesting, then maybe this mod is worth a download. Now the next mod I have for you is from the up and coming Fallout London and that mod is Fallout London Merc Outfit and you can acquire these armour pieces from any chem station under the IOD Merc Gear section for a small amount of crafting materials and requiring no perks. Now as for protection, all of the outfits are going to offer 25 ballistic resistance and plus 2 agility. The gloves are going to offer 10 ballistic resistance, the P-type helmet is going to offer 15 ballistic resistance and plus 1 charisma and endurance. And finally, the paratrooper helmet is going to offer 10 ballistic resistance and plus 2 endurance. And finally, as for upgrades, all of the outfits are going to have access to the miscellaneous upgrade. Now if you didn't already know, this mod is a standalone version of the Merc outfit that we'll be seeing in the upcoming Fallout London. Now the pieces themselves may not have the craziest amount of customization, but with all the different combinations of armor pieces and headgear, I'm sure that this mod can keep you more than entertained until we finally get the full release of Fallout London. But with that, let's move on to the next mod. Now if there's one thing that you're going to collect a lot of in Fallout 4, it's the bottle caps, and as a result of this, you're of course going to be swiping a lot of bottle cap tins, so what if said tins looked a little bit better and with this next mod that's exactly what we're going to do with new bottle cap tins and of course what this mod is going to do is retexture the bottle cap tins with a Nuka Cola aesthetic and this is going to come in two versions. Version 1 is going to be a cleaner version and version 2 is going to be slightly more dirty. Now if I'm going to be pedantic I'd say that these tins probably wouldn't look like this after 200 years at least not the clean version, but sometimes we have to give up things that are realistic for things that are aesthetically pleasing. Now it's been quite a while since we've taken a look at a power armor mod, but now we're going to be changing that with one heck of an amazing mod, and of course I'm talking about the Hellcat power armor, and you can acquire this power armor from the Gunners Plaza. Now I thought that these pieces would be on a frame in a room that I would have to search for, but no, you absolutely cannot miss the raider rocking this power armor that you have to defeat to collect off of his corpse. Now as for upgrades, you can expect all the upgrades that you would see on traditional vanilla power armor. This is even going to include the Tesla coils added from the Atomatron DLC, as well as a few new skins unique to this power armor. Now at this point, I have neglected to mention that this power armor is actually a recreation of the Hellcat power armor from Fallout 76. Now I have not played Fallout 76, and at this point I don't really intend to, so I don't really have any in-game experience to be able to compare the two power armors, but just based on the looks of this thing, I'm trusting that the mod author has done an absolutely fantastic job. And of course, this week's weapon mod is Sci-Fi Katana, and you can acquire this weapon from any chem station under the Octi Katana section for a small amount of crafting materials and requiring Blacksmith 1. And in terms of upgrades, you have the choice of 9 glow options, 4 blade colours, and finally, for damage options. Now it's not too often that we get to take a look at a melee weapon mod and even though melee combat isn't my favourite it's still nice to take a look at a melee weapon every once in a while. Now this mod does not have any hard requirements 
but the mod author does recommend that you use classic holstered weapons to move the sword to the sheaths in the non-default position. And with that, that's going to wrap things up for this mod, and the video for that matter. I hope you all enjoyed the mods here today, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you all in the next video.